The labels are screwing us. There's 100 points in a song. There's 100 master points, and that's what pays off a of streaming. So the label is giving producers, like myself, that need to, oh, you always got to be relevant. You always got to work with the big artists, because then you, what have you done for me lately? They're giving us three to six points a song out of 100. Out of 100! And telling us that we're blessed for it. And we're getting dinner with the CEOs like, thanks for putting me on your artist record. I really hope you bring it to radio. I don't know how it works, but maybe you could call somebody. So that's that. So the point being is like, it's very frustrating as a producer when... And I'm sure it's frustrating as an artist too, is like when you're putting together these looks and these videos and doing all this different stuff and the contract's not right, that's gotta kill you. From the town I like nothing, when I'm hopeful slip, a small city or some, but mostly no one forgets. On the outskirts of where I've been, dreaming since a kid, thought I was cursed to never see a radio hit, a Grammy the industry or something, even close, miles outside of What's going on all my hopefuls? This is JC Flames, and what you just saw there was another clip from the George Janko show featuring John Ballion, one of my favorite musicians out there. And again, to kind of bring this back full circle on this clip and what you guys just saw, he talks about points and I feel like I haven't really talked about it. I've been trying for the life of me to find an interview where they talk about points because that is something essential for you, whether or not you're gonna just be in the music business, stay as an independent artist, or even just try to get a record label deal. All right, try to get signed. It's one of those things that you have to know when going into some of these deals or even just doing any kind of partnerships with uh, a label or with any distribution deal, just anything like that. Now, before I do break it down, please make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date. Please guys, it's it's really gonna help me. I'm trying to, again, hit 100K subscribers. I really hope I do. Please, to all my hopefuls out there like you, I wanna continue making this content, pushing this information out there, this valuable information for you guys to help you in your careers, help you in your musical journey, all right? Because I know what it's like not to know much but i want to do the research for you i want to do a lot of that information digging even talk to certain artists i know talk to people who've been in the business and just spew it out to you guys right give you guys all the information so you are prepared when you go into any kind of record label you know meetings or any type of independent endeavors that you go into as an artist or as a producer as a songwriter rapper singer what have you I wanna make sure that you guys are prepared, so please hit that like, it mean a lot, please guys. All right, so let's get to breaking this down. So um, as I previously stated in the last video about the George Django show, he is a podcaster and he used to work with Logan Paul, he used to be on Impulsive, which is like a huge podcasting show, but now he's doing his own thing, he's been for a bit, and he had uh, one of my favorite musicians, John Bellion, who's a singer, songwriter, producer, even rapper, he's just, very multi-talented he's great at what he does and he talks about why he took this span of six years from doing a lot of his artistry and putting out his own albums and all that stuff of course with under a label and having the help of the label but he talks about why he took the six years on just songwriting and producing for other artists to try to get more of his income so in that process he starts to talk about points now if you guys have ever heard that term before in the music industry when it comes to record labels when it comes to publishing and even royalties a point is a percentage of your royalties that you are allowed to have after you do a song or a certain album so they'll give you points and it's out of a hundred and i forget what uh, a point amounts to as far as the percentage for the royalties uh, i'll definitely put it up somewhere here so that way you guys know but he was talking about something very crucial and imperative for you guys to know and he says pretty much the dark side of the industry which shouldn't be a surprise to either one of us if you're watching this but he was saying how record labels will have a producer or writer work with a certain artist and there's always a hundred points available for one song now it could be for a whole album or just one song for this instance he talks about just one song there's a hundred points this is when you get into the splits right who gets what percentage of the song that was written the song that was produced whether you did just the drums in it you just did the background vocals you did the mixing and mastering whatever so when it comes to that time with the splits and all those things they have what they call points which is a percentage of the song that you get and he was saying how ironically he's been to this point where obviously he's built up his repertoire as a songwriter and producer 
for a lot of these artists and now it's helping him with his career like doing songs with Justin Bieber, Jonas Brothers, Tori Kelly, all these big huge artists and it's helping him open doors to get more opportunities but he says later on in the show that he would rather take the points, getting more points, getting more royalties any day over working with certain artists in a form or fashion where he doesn't see a lot of that money which is what he's kind of alluding to right now and he's he also says too because he seems like a really humble down-to-earth guy that he wouldn't give anything compared to if he had the choice between having a successful music career and having a wife and, and kids like he has right now his family he would not in a heartbeat he would not have the successful artistry because he's at that point of his life where he just he puts his his wife and his kids first First. And, and I get it, man. As, as a man, I get it. So he's really humble and down to earth, but he talks about in this kind of small rant in here where I wanted to show you guys, he talks about how there's 100 points in one song and the record label will take the majority of those points and give just three to six points to a producer or writer. And like he even says in the podcasting show that obviously he has a house now, like he's getting money. He's not complaining, saying that he's broke compared to a lot of other artists out there. So he's a little more well off, but he's saying, well, well, you're getting this large percentage. You're getting like 96 points or even 95 points. And you just give me five, like, like from one song that potentially it's like 3 million streams in two days or a day. I mean, it, again, he's doing songs for Justin Bieber's, your, your kid Leroy's, like your huge artists huge pop stars and he's getting only three to six points from that one song that and he talks about it later on in the episode there's a lot of artists that he's worked with and he he isn't complaining but he says i i pretty much do the whole thing like i write produce it work with the mixing and mastering engineers i hire the drummers i hire the guitarists violinists all of those like he does the whole song all they do is put their vocals on it like he constructs the whole song from beginning to end and he's done that for certain artists but he said he's done that before and yet he still gets three to six points off of one song when there's a total of 100 points that's wild that is crazy especially to know that you put your blood sweat and tears you put everything into that just that one song that you work for and that artist that is blowing up on the radio right now and you only get a certain percentage that's crazy but doesn't shock me that's how it works and it's, it's just interesting for you guys to know but i will put it up somewhere here that what a point equivalates to when it comes to royalties and that percentage but keep this in mind you guys when they talk to you about and certain contracts about points having those points having the percentage of royalties you want to try to get as much as you can and this is where leverage really comes in handy if you're going into a record label meeting you want to make sure all that stuff is there always hire a lawyer always always make sure they're looking at all those percentages looking at the points all that stuff for any kind of album or song that you're releasing or you're helping other artists release or you're doing for them so please make sure and keep that in mind you guys again i got more hopeful nation videos coming so please be patient hang tight i've been really busy even with my music trying to promote it and all that stuff with that being said please make sure you go and check out my latest single with the homie bliss it's titled i don't exist i'll put it up somewhere here it's a really dope song it's kind of trap uh heavy it's got some influence of course with more lyrical but you guys will definitely love it go and check it out for sure go and stream it help me out if you guys support me i'll definitely support you and i've been doing it as well so let me know if your guys new songs put them in the comment section section i'll go and check them out i'll show love i'll show support all right you heard it from jc flames himself don't forget to hit that like hit that subscribe hit that notification bell to stay up to date on more videos i got coming all right this is all for you guys all for my hopefuls my name is jc flames and until next time i'm out